Speaking of a bad idea, they sent Tom Price out to do the CNN town hall on the repeal and replace bill. You'll recall that when Obama uh, was president and the Affordable Care Act was put out, it was Obama who went out to explain it. Now, the idea of Donald Trump explaining anything uh, beyond saying it's going to be great, and there's three phases, and we got to mix, we got to do the Democrats are not going to vote, the but Democrats there's things. Gonna do it like yeah. this. So here is Tom Price. If you ever wondered what a how a a soulless human being reacts to the reality of their implications when faced with it. This is the clip for you. Here is Tom Price. Now, notice what he's going to do after this cancer survivor explains why, why Tom Price is destroying the thing that uh, basically saved his life. Tom Price will put as much distance possible between his response and the question asked. Here it is down on all of these issues during the course of this hour. But we have our first question. Uh, it's from Brian Klein from Pennsylvania. Brian, thanks uh, very much. Early last year, Brian was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer. He's now cancer free. Uh, Brian, you have a question. Uh, thank, thank you, Wolf. Um, yes, Medicaid expansion saved my life and saved me from medical bankruptcy. Now, I earn $11.66 an hour at my retail job. And obviously, I cannot afford to pay for my cancer care out of pocket. My life really depends on having access to my doctors and medical care. Getting a cancer diagnosis is bad enough. But Medicaid expansion gives me the economic security in knowing that funding is always going to be there for my cancer care. So my question for you, Secretary Price, is pretty straightforward. Why do you want to take, why do you want to take away my Medicaid expansion? Uh, Brian, thanks for that question, and, and, and thank goodness that things are going well from your health care standpoint. As a physician, I practiced medicine over 20 years uh, and, and took care of a lot of patients uh, with cancer. And it was one of those challenges that when it faces uh, you as an individual or someone in your family, you want to make certain that you've got access to the highest quality uh, care that you, that you can receive. The fact of the matter is that we don't. We don't want to take care away from anybody. What we want to make certain, though, is that every single American has access to the kind of coverage and care that they want for themselves. If you look at the Medicaid program right now, we have one-third of the physicians in this nation, Brian, who are not seeing Medicaid patients. And so if, if, if we want to be honest with ourselves as a society, it's important that we step back and say, why is that? Why are those doctors not seeing Medicaid patients? And let me just suggest it's because the Medicaid program itself has real problems in it. And there you go. Uh, that's the response you give to the guy who says, Medicaid saved my life. And then Tom Price responds, well, uh, but it's broken. <laughs> As you can, I'm sure you've experienced yourself in the process of it saving your life. Right, of course. The system is completely imploded. What we designed this was for for you to not have your life saved. Yeah, I'm and a so little confused by it's this. Broken because in this situation right now, I don't like people who work retail to be within breathing space of me unless they're getting me something off of a shelf. So, anyways. Uh, can Cena give me a question from somebody who doesn't have cancer? Thanks. Please, thank you. I'm a doctor. In other words, I see plenty of people with cancer. Don't need to hear from you. Yeah, I know. You have Been that there, sort of gaunt, that. sad look of, yes. I just barely held on to my life, and I had these vas invasive treatments that saved me, which, by the way, you shouldn't have had to fucking begin with. All right, what's the next question? Clearly... Clearly, Medicaid doesn't work. You're alive. <laughs> hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump can kiss all of our asses. And one way he can is by you subscribing to this channel. I don't know how that works.